Hello, hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Kenya. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Sara. Tired. Really? Ah, I imagine. It's Monday. <laughs> The good thing is that you are safe and sound, right? A pesar de que quizás estén cansaditas, pues lo mejor es que quizás se encuentren bien de salud. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to your English class. So let me listen to you, girls, because I only have girls right now. So let's check. Hi, Eva, how are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent, very good to hear you. What about Jami? Hi, Jami. Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, and you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. All right, everybody, welcome back to your English class. It's a pleasure to see you in class. Today, we are going to start with section five. I can't, I skate very well. All right, we have different vocabulary, we have new vocabulary, and we are going to learn how to use that vocabulary in simple sentences, all right? So let's get started. Let's see, let me check. Yeah, we are quite a lot now. We are in class 13. This week, you guys, you finish the platform this week and you finish the course this week. So I hope you are happy because you're going to be in level three. And that's exciting. So let's check. Before we move on to section five, all right? Como les mencionaba, ahora vamos a iniciar con la sección cinco. Imagino que durante el fin de semana algunos me estuvieron escribiendo que ya están en la section five. Entonces es excelente, all right? Ahora solo vamos a ver este reading porque no todos practicaron la clase pasada con este reading. Voy a pedirles a algunos que practiquen ahora, pero porque creo que es el único reading que tenemos ya en esta section, all right? En teoría tendríamos que terminar la section five during this whole week, um, tomorrow's class and Wednesday's class, all right? Entre ahora, mañana y el miércoles finalizamos con toda la sección cinco y el final exam, all right? El día jueves tenemos que continuar con ciertas partes de la platform y rellenando espacios quizás en blanco que nos han quedado o dudas que nos han quedado de algún tema, right? Haciendo un review. So let's get started, everybody. I will read first. Yo leo primero. You just listen and then you will practice. In Spain, some Latin American countries, people eat, yeah, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. That's the first reading. On New, Year's, on New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes for strength in the new year. Good traditions. Let's go with the third one. Some Americans from Southern states eat black eyed peas and some rice with colored greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars, all right? So there you have it, guys. That was just my introduction to the reading. Let's go with you. Let's practice. This is like your warming up, right? Esto es como un calentamiento para ustedes. Ya lo vieron. Ya terminaron esta, plata de la, esta parte de la platform, pero quiero ver cómo estamos con ese reading. Porque ya vamos a finalizar esta semana. So let's get started with Jacqueline. Hello, Jacqueline. How are you? Hello. Se me fue el estornudo. I know. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Jackie. Bye, bye. Thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. All right, Jacqueline, can you please read paragraph number one? Okay. I am a party in some Latin American country. People eat uh, 12 grapes at midnight, one New Year Eve, one grape for good. Look in each month of the new year. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with paragraph number two. Let me have mm -mm. Carlos Antonio, please. Paragraph number two. 
Good evening, Carlos. Good evening, teacher. Uh, on year day in Japan, people eat much rice cake or strange in the new year. That's correct. Excellent, sir. Thank you. And the last paragraph, Yami Rahu, please. Yes. Uh, some Americans from Southern states eat black eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black eyed peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Excellent. Thank you, Jamie. Very good job. Now, you see, guys, let's move on. I also have a practice, an extra bar, an extra practice for you today, guys. But if we got the time, we're going to make it. If not, don't worry. Let's check. Let's let, let's read again the three paragraphs. Let's start with William Livorio. Please, paragraph number one. Good evening. Good evening. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's. Eat one grape for good, good luck in each month of the New Year. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Daisy Carolina, paragraph number two, and Norma Elizabeth, paragraph number three, please. On every year day in Japan, people eat small rice cake for a strength in the new year. All right, excellent. Thank you, Daisy. Let's go with Norma, paragraph number three. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Normita. Welcome. Some American from Sunter. Central state eat black and jet peas and rice with collard greens. The black and jet peas are like cones and the green, no, and the greens are like dollars. Excellent, thank you. All right, you guys, those are the traditions. In El Salvador, pretty much the only tradition that we have is that some people eat grapes on December, right? That's what they do. Some people eat grapes on December 31st, I think so, or in 24th. And that's it. <laughs> so those are the traditions 12. that we have. Huh? 12. 12, uh -huh, exactly. 12 for one per each month, right? Una por cada mes. Esa es una, una de las tradiciones que tenemos aquí. En, bueno, muchas personas tienen aquí en El Salvador, right? I don't do anything of that, but so many people do. So they do. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's continue. Snapshot, sports seasons in the US and Canada, my friends. So if by any chance you're thinking about traveling, there you go. Por si alguna vez piensan en viajar, ya saben, aquí tienen el vocabulary, right? Let's get started. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer, in the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Now, let's check this out. These are the diversity or the different sports that people uh, practice during each of the seasons, right? Like in El Salvador, we don't have a specific season to play, we play, and that's it. If you want to play football, you play football. It doesn't matter when you play it, but they, because of the seasons or because of the weather, basically they need to select different seasons to play some sports or to practice in any sport, all right? So let's get started with the vocabulary. Let's see, uh, let me check. Ahora me van a decir el vocabulary. 
Let's start with Cecilia Rivas. Good evening, Cecilia. Good evening. Excellent. Uh, Tell uh, me the uh, 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 All of them. Todos, please. A todos, vaya. In this, uh -huh. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play basketball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, uh, go bike reading, go hiking. In the win winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice sk skating, go skiing. Y así, baseball era en, la, en summer. No era basketball, pero es que no veía bien. Yeah, it's true. Así me pasó cuando yo lo estaba leyendo. Casi uh -huh. decía. Okay. <laughs> All right, excellent. Thank you, Cecilia. Very Thank you. good. Let me check. Let's go with Ceci Hernández. Tell me the vocabulary, please, Ceci. Okay, teacher, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Uh, in the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go is, is skiing. That's correct, excellent. Thank you guys. Now let's check. Due to the fact that they do have ice, <laughs> all right, they can practice a diversity of sports. But let's think about our country. What kind of sports can we do in our country? Because we don't have ice, right? Nosotros no tenemos hielo. Entonces, ¿qué tipo de deportes podemos hacer? ¿O qué podemos practicar aquí en El Salvador? Golf. Football. Football. Soccer. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, when you think about it, it's like, I wish I could have some eyes. Ya si lo pensamos sería bien genial, right? Tener esa temporada de winter y poder practicar esos deportes. Although probably we won't, aunque lo más seguro es que no lo hagamos porque algunos de esos deportes son peligrosos, right? So, after we practice, I, right now I only have two people practicing this vocabulary, but I need to have more. I need to have like six. So let's go with Arnoldo Castellón. Good, good evening, Arnoldo. Hi. Hi. Good evening. Tell me, please, the vocabulary. Okay. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the fall, people play football, go by reading, go hiking. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, uh, go swimming. In the wind, ¿cómo se pronuncia ese? Yeah, winter, in the winter. Uh -huh. In the winter, people play ho hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, uh, go ice skating. Go skiing. Excellent. Repeat after me, sir, please. Go ice okay. skating. Go ice ski skating. Skating, exactly. And go bike riding. Uh, go bike ride. No, riding. Riding, See? exactly. Okay. Yes. Riding. Okay. Riding. That's correct. Very mm -hmm. good. Okay. Thank you, Arnaldo. Yeah. Thanks. Let me go with somebody else. What about Kenny Ayala? Would you like to help me with the vocabulary, please? Yes. Sports season in the US and Canada. 
In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play best basketball, go ice skating, go skating. Skin. Skin. Uh -huh, exactly. Excellent. Very good. Now, everybody, let's go with somebody else. I only have four people by now. I need like six. Let's go with Angel Cano. Good evening, Angel. Good evening, teacher. Sorry. Es que estaba con problemas de internet. Mm, ok, no te preocupes. No se preocupe. Thank I got you. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Ok. Eh, sport season in the US en Can Can Canada. Canada. That's right? Canada. Ok. Mm -hmm. in, the pre in the spring, people play soccer, play golf. In the fall, people play play football, go bike, riding, go hiking. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, go swimming. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, go skiing. Es team, exactly. Okay. That's correct. Ice skating es el que hacen con los patines, right? Ese es el deporte. En patinaje. Así se traduciría literalmente, patinaje. Y el patinaje esquí. Uh -huh, exactly. Y el esquí es el que van con unos palitos así deslizándose por toda la nieve. Mm. All right. They actually use the ski. All right. Excellent. Thank you, sir. En hiking. Hiking. Let me check. Ah, hiking es cuando. Suben a las montañas. Se me ha olvidado la palabra en español. Escalar. Es, escalar, exactly. That's high. Right. Thank you. Okay. There you have it. You're welcome. All right. Um, I don't think that nobody hikes in El Salvador, right? Yo creo que no hay hiking aquí en El Salvador, aunque tenemos el... Ah, bueno, sí. Ya hay gente que le gusta subir el volcán and all those things. <laughs> so they do hiking. Let's go with the last one. Douglas Alvarez, please tell me the vocabulary. Hello, are you there, Mr. Alvarez? Let's check. Ah, you got problems with the app. Don't worry, sir. Let's go with Ana Maritza, please tell me the vocabulary. Good evening. Good evening. In the spring, people play golf, play soccer. In this fall, people play football, go by reading, go hiking. In the summer, people play basketball, play tennis, play volleyball. Go swimming in the greeted people play soccer, play basketball, go ice skiing, go skiing. All right, excellent, Anita. Repeat after me. Go back riding, bike, bike riding. Go bike riding. Mm -hmm. Go bike riding. Go hiking. Go hiking. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you, Anita. Very good job. All right, everybody. Mm, why are we getting to know this vocabulary? As per usual, you know, after the vocabulary, I have some chances for you, all right? As an example. Ya saben que después del vocabulary, yo les pongo aquí unas oraciones para que ustedes se guíen. Y después vamos a la parte favorita de la clase, que es donde ustedes practican. So let's get started, guiding examples. Number one, let me check. Marta, please, Marta Argueta, number one. In the spring? In the spring, Mari plays soccer. Excellent, very good, thank you. Yami Rajo, number two. 
In summer, my parents go swimming. Exactly, that's correct. Thank you. Um, William Liborio, number three. Then I play basketball. Oh, number three. In the fall? Sorry. In the fall, Matias goes bike riding. Exactly. And Normita, please, number three. Number four, I'm sorry. In the winter, I play basketball. Excellent. That's correct. All right, you guys. Um, winter for us, para nosotros, el winter es cuando más llueve, ¿verdad? Entonces sería como que bien imposible que podamos jugar basketball. Pero igual, ahí quería ponerles ese example. What are you gonna do after you finish copying these examples? Si ustedes quieren, pueden copiar estos ejemplos para que los tengan de base, all right? Y si no, pues, esperan un tantito mientras terminan sus compañeros y vamos a pasar al practice time. Ya les voy a explicar qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahí. I want you to notice something. All right, so far we had had a vocabulary about vegetables, meals, and different vocabulary. And now you are learning about games, all right, or sports, sorry. You are learning about sports. Quiero que se den cuenta que con todo el vocabulary que ustedes van adquiriendo, aún así continuamos con el simple present, right? ¿Por qué? Porque ese no es el que más cuesta, sino que Es donde se puede aprovechar más de utilizar todo este vocabulario que ustedes están aprendiendo y ver cómo se aplica en cada uno de los tenses. All right? A veces podemos pensar que porque aprendí el simple present con, con las comidas, solo con eso lo voy a utilizar. No, all right? ustedes pueden utilizarlo con todo este vocabulario y ese es el propósito de esto, que ustedes vean cómo lo van a utilizar. So let's go to the following practice time. Hmm, let me check. I don't want to talk anymore. So let's go with Carla Aleman. Please tell me the instructions. Okay. Practice time. Work individually. Read at least. Um, for sentence with the vocabulary learning. Com compare? Compare your sentence with the class. Excellent, thank you, Carlita. All right, you guys. If you don't wanna create four sentences, at least create two, all right? Si no quieren crear cuatro, al menos creemos tres o dos, all right? Teacher, one question. Yes. The, what's the meaning for? What's the meaning of? Ball. 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 Ball? No. Uh, the oración in the fall people. What's the meaning of fall? Ah, fall is otoño. Oh. Okay. Esta. Mm -hmm. Fall is otoño. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Excellent, there you have it. Remember you guys, those are the four seasons, right? Esas son las cuatro temporadas que ellos tienen. Tienen spring, eh, tienen fall, summer, and winter. I think that in El Salvador, we only have eh, like three seasons, right? Um, we don't have primavera, creo yo. <laughs> so, do you have a question, Angel? Sí, please. He tenido bastantes problemas con el internet. Entonces, imagínate. Bueno, ya leí la, las indicaciones, eh, cuatro oraciones, eh, pero esa era la pregunta, con los, eh, las Sports. sí son las, eh, ajá, pero nosotros solo tenemos dos, con las dos, eh, con las dos eh, estaciones que tenemos, o con las cuatro. Yo llorando porque solo tenemos dos. <risa> no, Angel. Yo digo que las hago con las cuatro. Imagínate que si eh, tuviéramos las cuatro, right? Para que no okay. se aburra haciéndolo solo con dos. Perfecto. 
All right, excellent. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Um, guys, by the way, antes de que se me olvide, quiero consultarles cómo vamos con esa plataforma. Terminaron la sección 4 completa ya. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Sí, yes. terminada. Excellent, very good. Sí, está bien, porque la verdad es que si alguien no lo ha terminado porque le costó algo, let me know. Háganme saber, all right? No se pueden quedar atrás número uno y, y no quiero que se queden atrás. Yo quiero que continúen con este estudio, así que tienen que terminarlo, right? Very good. Do you have a question, Carlos? Or you just finished? Finish. Right. Uh -huh. Let me hear your sentences. Déjeme escuchar sus oraciones. Bueno, a ver si están buenas. <laughs> in, in the spring, Peter plays golf. In the summer, my sister goes tennis. In the fall, my father uh, played football. 
In the winter, I did I basketball. All right, that's correct, Carlos. They are correct. Solo la última, la única, la número dos creo que fue de golf. In summer, my sister. Uh -huh. Go tennis. Ah, play tennis. Ah, play tennis. Mm -hmm. Play tennis. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Excellent. Pero tan, tan buena la demás. Yes. Yeah. They are correct. Very okay. good. Thank ya ven, es que ya, ya conociendo el simple present, como ustedes lo han logrado conocer, cuando van adquiriendo más vocabulary, se les va haciendo más fácil utilizarlo con los distintos vocabularios. So let's go with Alba Duarte, after Alba, Norma, after Norma, Marta. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Alvita. Welcome. Okay. Uh, I play soccer in the summer. Veronica plays golf in the spring. Carlos and Fernando swing in the winter. Uh -huh. Swing in the winter. All right. Excellent. Very good, Alvita. Although, Alba, I don't know how can someone swim in the winter. No cree que sería muy helado nadar en el invierno. Yo creo que sí. <laughs> oh, excellent, very good. Hubo una Gracias. vez alguien que me dijo una oración similar a esa, right? Y me dijo, no, teacher, si es bien bonito nadar cuando está lloviendo. Y yo, mm, I don't think so. Siento que me voy a ahogar, pero bueno. <laughs> Let's go with Norma. After Norma, Marta. In the winter, I play football. In the summer, my son goes back reading. In the fall, I go hiking. In the spring, Lucas plays soccer. Bravo, Normita. Excellent sentences. Just repeat after me, Norma. Goes. Goes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's correct, my friend. Thank you. Let's go with Marta. Okay. In the summer, in the summer, she played baseball. In the fall, my friends go bike riding. In the winter, Miguel goes football. In the spring, he plays volleyball. All right, excellent. So on the only one, like utilizó football, I just plays football, all right? Uh, go play football. Mm -hmm. Ah, no es go, ¿verdad? Es play. No. O si lleva go. No, go. veamos aquí. In fall, people play football. Utilizamos el mm. verbo play, all right? Mm, okay. Thank you, Martita, very good job. Let's mm. go with Eva after Eva. Angel after Angel, Jacqueline. Action, Eva. In the summer, ride a bike. In the, in the spring, play tennis. In the fall, play basketball. Mm, in the quién? winter, she plays baseball. Pero quién es Evita? Me está dando sentences, oh, pero no me pone el subject. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Esta sí, in the winter she plays. Ajá. En el invierno ella juega a béisbol. Ah, in winter she plays béisbol. En el, ajá. En el verano ando en bicicleta. And how is that in English? ¿Y eso cómo sería en inglés? In the summer I ride a bike. A bike. She rides. Mm -hmm. She rides. ¿Quiere poner she o yo? O sea, usted. Sí. Ah, right. ya había puesto. Uh -huh. Yo. Ok, excelente, very good. Sí, le pregunté por qué no escuchaba los subjects, pero sí, ya me lo explicó que ella. Sí, ajá. Excelente. Sí, la primera es ella y la segunda es yo. All right. Excelente, Eva. Thank you. Let's go with Angel after Angel, Jacqueline after Jacqueline, Carlos. Your microphone, Angel. Hoy sí. Creo que está mejor. Yes. <laughs> He intentado ponerlo lo más realista posible. In fall, my cousin Arturo goes to home in the mountain. 
In winter, esto no lo hemos visto, pero in winter I would like to go surfing. <laughs> Wishes. Uh, in summer, my wife and I go to play basketball. In winter, my uncle in USA goes to play in Las Vegas. That's cool, excellent, very good, <laughs> it does. All right, excellent, Angel. Solo la número uno, Angel, repítala, please. Quiero chequear. Okay, sí, en esa tengo dudas, por eso. Bueno, in fall, my cousin Arturo goes to hunt in the mountain. No, está correcta, sí está correcta, all right. Lo, okay. Yo también le podría poner el, in, ahí lo tiene como infinity, también puede ponerle ghost hunting. Ah, on okay. the moon. Right, moon. Oh, ah, on the moon. Mount, ajá. Es que así se ah, pronuncia, okay. se escribe, se escribe mountain, pero no se pronuncia, ajá. se pronuncia mount. Ah, ese era otro, mount. Very good, sir. Excellent, Angel, muy bien. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's go with Jacqueline after Jacqueline. Carla Lehmann. Okay. Uh, in the winter, Juan plays chess. In the spring, I play tennis. In the summer, my brother plays volleyball. 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 In the fall, I play basketball. Very good, Jacqueline. No mistakes, no corrections. Thank you. Excellent. Let's go with Carla Alemán. Después de Carla, Ceci Hernández. Okay. In the summer, I play soccer. Mm -hmm. In the spring, my brother go bike reading. In the fall, my friends play basketball. In the winter, Jose play tennis. Very good, Carla, excellent. Solo en esta, Carlita, en, recordemos la pronunciation es writing, porque reading es leer y writing es montar, right? Oh, okay, okay. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with Ceci and after Ceci Arnold. In the winter, I play basketball. In summer, Carlos plays tennis. In the fall, my mother goes to walk in the spring. My host, husband plays soccer. Bravo, excellent, Ceci. Very good. A lot of activities. Thank okay. you. Let me change. No, todas están bien. No pude notar ningún mistake. Let's go with Arnoldo. Okay, thanks. Uh, number one. In the spring, she comes in the mountain. Number two, in the summer, my friends go to the beach to the play volleyball. Number three, in the fall, Francisco play basketball. Number four, in the, win in the winter, he plays hockey. All right, excellent, sir. No mistakes with the verbs. You're doing great. Thanks. Solo, Arnoldo, in la pronunciation Bien. de summer. Se escribe con U, pero decimos summer, right? Okay. Excellent, very good. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Jamie. Jamie, number summer. My family goes swimming. In the spring, we go to park and and we play football. In the in the fall, they play basketball. Mm -hmm. Very good, Jamie. Excellent, everybody. Thank you. Look at you. Great sentences. No mistakes. Excelente oraciones, everybody. Se están poniendo más las pilas. Excelente. Very good. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Este, lo correcto es decir in the y decir la. La season. 
temporada. La season. O se puede decir solo in winter, in spring. Sí, exactly. Puede quitarle la el dos. Cualquiera de las dos ah, maneras. Ok, y, y una duda también. Este, me confunde que a veces se dice in da, el in da o in di. <risa> Piénsense sí, que eso, los británicos dicen da, right? Pero ah. los americans dicen di. Right? Por ejemplo, para decirle la más bonita, the most beautiful girl, right? Entonces, o sea que yo pronuncio como británico. <laughs> true, true. You guys, se pega, no creen que chiste se pega. Lo británico, la, all right, el accent, que ellos tienen, ellos le dan más énfasis. Así que cualquiera de los dos puede utilizar. Solo uh -huh. que recuerde que sí tenemos un dat, right? Uh -huh. ¿Se acuerda uh -huh. del DAT, verdad? El T-H-A-T. -E sí. Entonces sí. tiene que tener cuidado de no confundirlo con ese. Right? Ah, ok. D o D o D. Ok. Sí. Gracias. Let's go with Angel. ¿Tiene otra consulta, Angel? Yes, teacher. Eh... Bueno, con respecto al, a, a, a eso del da y, 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 y de. Ajá. ¿En di? En di. Eh, bueno, es. ¿Cómo nos sugiere usted? Porque al final. Ah, bueno, aunque al final cuando lo, lo vayamos a practicar, vamos a hacer una sola mezcolanza entre inglés británico e inglés estadounidense. Y nos vamos a tener que ir acostumbrando media vez vayamos hablando con, lo, con, lo, con, lo, con los gringos, sobre todo. Pues son los que los tenemos más próximos. Uh -huh. Al británico muy poco vamos a interactuar con ellos. Pero a sí no ser son que trabajen en un call center. Right. ¿Cómo, perdón? A no ser que trabajen en un call center. A no ser que trabajen en un call center, cabal. <risa> Porque sí son bastantes las diferencias en la pronunciación con varias palabras. En, cuando yo fui a Europa, ah, no, mentira, tampoco. <risa> wow, tío, excelente, very good. No, no yo, pero, sí. uh -huh. mire, yo la verdad es que yo les recomiendo, yo digo de, all right, de, the girl, the boys, si, si no te nunca he dicho de, all right, quizás alguna vez se me habrá salido decir de, pero eso no es tan propio, es mejor decir el de, all right, um, yo utilizo el de, les sugiero a ustedes que utilicen el de, all right, para que no se confundan. Es como el artículo, vaya, el artículo A. ¿Se nota, han notado ustedes que antes del noun que utilizamos decimos a, a pencil, all right? No digo a pencil, all right? Sino que digo a pencil, porque así es la pronunciación, all right? Así es la pronunciación. Pero ya han escuchado que en otras partes como en conversations se menciona como el a. Right. Inclusive en el abecedario suena como A. Entonces, eso es solo acostumbrar el oído, Angel, a cualquiera de las dos formas, pero ustedes, como les digo, yo utilizo el D. Entonces, si a ustedes les sale más fácil utilizar el D, you can do it. You're totally welcome. No hay ningún problema, right? Very good. Let's go with the conversation, everybody. Let's check. Lauren and Justin. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. <laughs> really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Whoa, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. <laughs> you guys, it's true. You don't have time to play those sports. So let's check. Let's start with Ceci, would you like to be Lauren? ¿Gustaría ser Lauren, Ceci? And William, okay. so sí. you are Justin. Action. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Um, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorite. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this, this sport. I just watch them on television. That's correct. 
Very good job, excellent. Exercise is not our passion, right? Hacer ejercicio no es nuestra pasión. Let's go with, let me check. Norma, Normita, you are um, Lauren Arnoldo Castellón, you are Justin. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Will, I love sport. Really? What sport do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer are my fav favorite. Wow, you're, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all dance sports? <clears throat> Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch them on television. That's correct, sir. Excellent. Thank you. Normita and Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. No mistakes. Let's go with Tamaris Vega. Tamaris, you are Lauren and Angel Cano. You are Justin. Action. Okay, so Justin, what do you do in your free time? Sorry. Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, baseball, and soccer I my favorite. Wow, you're really cool, that lead. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play the sports. I just watch them on TV. Exactly, that's correct, bravo. No mistakes, no failures. Let's go with Cecilia Rivas, you are Lauren. Carlos Antonio, you are Justin. So Justin, what do you what do you do in your free time? Well, I love the sport. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey, basketball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play this sport. I just watch uh, them in television. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Mm, now, let me check. Mm, I don't find any hard vocabulary on this conversation. Al menos yo no encuentro alguna palabra. Ya han escuchado que a veces les digo yo en una conversation que hay algunas palabras que pueden ser difíciles, right? Pero de pronunciation yo no encontré ninguna. No sé si ustedes encontraron alguna, Angel. Atleta. Eh, Atleta. Atleta. Uh -huh. Thank you. Very good. Sí, mire, yo lo que hago es que, no es que yo lo hago, sino que ya los natives también lo hacen, es meter la lengua cuando vamos a pronunciar el TH. Athlete. Athlete. Right? Para no sonar tan fuertes en nuestro acento. Athlete. And there you have it. Very good, you guys. Thank you so much. Let's move on. What was the conversation for? Simple present WH questions. Let me hear you. Ya, ya saben cómo utilizar, cómo manejamos la pronunciation de las WH, pero ahora las vamos a ver en otros contextos. Yami, please, you ask. Usted pregunta, Yami, and ya le busco a alguien que conteste. Jacqueline Campos, usted contesta, please. Action. Okay. What sports do you play? I play hockey and basketball. And basketball. Who, do you, who do you play baseball with? Uh, voy a mover esto. Jacqueline, your microphone. Su micrófono, Jacqueline. Se le apagó. Excuse me, why with some friends from work, we have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How 
often do we practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Very good, excellent. Thank you, girls, for your participation. Everybody, esta palabra is twice, all right? Dos veces, twice, a week. Esa sí puede ser algo difícil de pronunciar por la, por la W, all right? Pero se pronuncia twice. twice. Uh, repeat, please. Twice. Twice. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Twice. Very okay. good. Thank you, Jacqueline. Let me go with Alba Duarte. Alba, you ask, usted pregunta, Alvita, and Elizabeth Giron, usted contesta. You answer. Action. Okay. What sport do you play? I play hockey and baseball. What do you play baseball with? I play with some friends uh, from work. From work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play in Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sunday. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, excellent. Very good. Thank you, girl. All right, guys, let's check this one. The guiding structure, right? Uh, Ceci Hernandez, please tell me the guiding structure. WH word uh -huh. plus do or does plus subject plus verb plus complement. Exactly. Thank you. All right? That's the Commune WH word, no, WH structure that we have, right? Simple and basic. You got the WH word. Recuerden todas las WH words. Tenemos el how, el who, el when, where, what, what, que es el más basic, right? Que, what es para todo. <laughs> all right, so esos son los más basic que tenemos. También está which. All right, pero which casi no, no, nunca lo pone en las tablas, no sé por qué, pero sí es parte de ese, right? Entonces, luego nuestra basic structure nos dice, agrégale un do or does. ¿Qué son el do or does, everybody, en el simple present? ¿Qué, qué funciones ejercen esos dos? Auxiliar. Auxiliar. Very good, excellent. Thank you, Carla. All right. Ya teniendo esto, let's check the guiding examples. Vámonos a los guiding examples. Daisy Carolina, question number one, please. What sport does Eunice play? Thank you. Nancy Gutierrez, number two, please. Why do you play tennis with? Um, excellent. Repeat after me. Who? Oh, excellent. Very good. Vilma Contreras, number three, please. Where does, where does he play? Excellent. And Cecilia Rivas, number four, please. How often do they practice? Exactly. Excellent. Thank you. All right, you guys, ahí lo tienen. Utilizando... La estructura que nos brindaron, all right, podemos idear esto, idear estas questions. Preguntas que en realidad las hacemos en daily basis, all right. Ya cuando ustedes empiecen a generar conversation, porque va a llegar un momento en el que ya no van a ser solo sentences y questions, ya tienen, van a empezar a generar conversaciones, párrafos, all right. No five lines, paragraphs, no párrafos de cinco líneas, sino que más, all right. But there you have it. These are just examples. Estos solo son unos ejemplos para que ustedes vean el uso de esa estructura. Ahora tenemos otra structure, específicamente con el who. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué queremos ver con eso? Let's see. Normita, tell me the structure, please. Yo 
your microphone ahorita. Sorry, teacher. Don't worry, no se preocupe. How plus do or does plus subject plus verb and no plus with. Exactly. Si ustedes se fijaron, ya quizás tuvieron eh, la oportunidad de avanzar en esta lección. En la estructura que él menciona, cuando ya pone los ejemplos, dice que si queremos, podemos poner el noun y si no, solamente dejamos el verb. O sea, si yo no quiero poner play soccer, puedo dejar play. All right? Play, and that's it. Pero a veces tiene más sentido si le ponemos el noun. Play soccer, porque estamos hablando de algo específico. ¿Qué sucede con esta structure? ¿Para qué les, les utiliza esta structure? Dice que se termina con el with. All right. Es específica y por eso generaron ellos esta estructura aparte, porque podemos hacerlo así. Ya les voy a mostrar, me confirman cuando terminen de copiar la estructura para mostrarles los ejemplos, nada más. Finished. Finish. Excellent. Very good. All right. Let's start. Angel, number one, please. Who? Who gave an example? Who does Martin play basketball with? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yami Rajo, number two, please. Who? We, number two? No, yes. Number two. Two. Yes, two. Who do you practice with? Excellent. And William Livorio, number three. With whom does Juan play? Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Lo que les transmiten en el video es que cualquiera de estas dos opciones es válida. Pero la que más se suele utilizar en programas, en libros y todo es la del Q. Y terminan con el with. All right? Pero claro está, también existe en esta otra que es la del with plus whom. All right? Y no hay ningún error. Si quieren utilizarla, pueden hacerlo. Quizás no es muy común, como mencionan en el video, pero se puede utilizar. All right? Es una excepción. All right, everybody. That's pretty much it for today's class. It has been a pleasure to be with you. If you have any questions or doubt, feel free to tell me. If not, I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Have a great night. Bye. 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 Bye.